show is that it's now running. Got the engine in, all the wiring in, the harness is on, got the EFI system program for the most part. Got some more work to do there. But it's idling and uh, runs pretty good. Sounds nice. It looks pretty good in the car. Thought I'd give you a little tour of the outside while it's idling. Those are the driving lights. That's uh, the engine and it's running. The uh, interior is uh, starting to come together. I'm now starting to focus on that. I've uh, got the uh, console top all built. I've got my switch panel, my AC heater control function built into that. Some cup holders, of course, and uh, my power window control, and then the shifter and the boot are all built into that. I'm gonna, next thing I'll be doing is the side panels to that which will um, be uh, padded vinyl, padded simulated leather. Hot the insulate the rest of it. Got to do the door panels yet, but uh, wiring's all done. Uh, show you the inside of the trunk. So the trunk's all in. I've got the panels that are above the exhaust system all insulated. And yes, there is enough room in here for my golf clubs. And I plan to do a little more golfing now that I get this done and I'm starting to get close. So this, this panel here is removable with screws so I can get at, to, at the uh, transaxle and other things. And then this aluminum panel here is removable and that gives me access to the vent where the air cleaner is so i can change that i also altered the uh, the body panel on top here to make it removable so it's zeus fastened on the, the i retained the where the winch or the rear window sits in the in the sealant there but then uh, here is where i cut it and then made it so i could remove that whole panel get access to the air cleaner. As you can see, the uh, intake is reversed on this engine and it draws from that area. Fans work. Um, I haven't had the covers on it yet to, to know how hot it gets, but I'll tell you the headers that were done uh, by Jet Hot um, turned out really nice. And in the, all the running I've done to tune the engine, uh, I've not really felt the kind of heat coming off of those headers as I have with my race cars in the past. Um, but uh, we'll see when the cover's on, but it looks like uh, they did a great job on that and, and it was good advice to put that type of a coating on those headers. Everything else, and this is from the passenger side. Let me grab the keys and I'll show you what the trunk looks like. There's a lot of uh, wiring activity in the trunk that had to be finished. Trunk slash storage area slash front of car. I'm not sure what to call this anymore in a, in a mid-engine Corvair.
fuel cell. And you can see these boxes here have all the relays in that I've used to uh, run all the devices, trying to take um, load off the old switches in this car. I didn't really want them to carry all that amperage that devices do. So they're in there, I get them loomed together, a lot of relay action. Uh, and then the headlights built into the irregular Corvair buckets, attached in. Radiator, so far with all the tuning I've done, the fan's been cycling and it's been maintaining about 190 degrees, just sitting around idling in my garage. So we'll see what, it like, what it's like here in South Carolina with uh, really cold, really hot weather in the summertime, but we'll see. So that's kind of a video view of, of everything. I thought I'd do mostly video this time and just uh, uh, hopefully it wasn't too much of a ramble, but it gives you a chance to see what is going on with the car. Like I said, I'll be working on the interior next, side panels of the console. I'll get the rest of the insulation in the interior, get the carpet laid, um, get the door panels on and, uh, and all of that. So that's kind of an update for now. Um, the next video hopefully will be a, a lot closer to being done and I'll have all that interior finished and the windows in and, and uh, things uh, all buttoned up from an operational standpoint. So hopefully uh, you enjoyed this uh, all talking video this time. But I thought there was enough to show you and, and just give you a chance to view everything. And uh, as always, if you have any comments, questions, uh, shoot me, shoot me something in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks again and we'll talk to you later.